Hi folks, one simple change to the code behind the scenes in the Haas VPS that really helps our quality of life with how we use these probing routines that come on all Haas machines. I wanna walk through what this edit is and how it helps us and hopefully give you the confidence to dive into these, to change them for the better for your shop when appropriate. So Haas does a great job giving you these templates uh, under VPS to probe your work coordinate systems. But the thing we don't like about the rectangular block is we have no ability to control the amount of over travel. And what that means is I've got to spend more time than I want to put a tape measure or a ruler or some other mark to find the center line of my part. That way, when I punch in the dimensions, say 12 by 8, I don't accidentally have a probe error because I started a little bit to the right or to the front. What I'd rather do on something like a 12 by 8 block is punch in 13 by 9, an inch of over travel, hit that cycle start button. I don't want the probe to alarm out. And the way to do that is to change the amount of over travel the probe is allowed to see before it errors out. So we're kind of lying to VPS. We're saying that we're looking for a 13 by 9 block. It's actually 12 by 8. So how do we figure that out? You got to go play in the 9000 directory in your machine. And that's what I love about Haas. They give us access to the code so we can tweak it if we need to, to suit our needs. You need to change setting 23 temporarily to give yourself access. And I really recommend taking this whole folder and making a backup copy. Then go into VPS, run that rectangular block operation, but copy it to MDI. And you'll see the program that it's calling is this 9995. That's the magic program. So let's pop it open. If you don't have Visual Studio Code, card here to the page where we walk through how to install it and how to set it up. It's great for modifying G code and post processors. Start looking through this code. It can look intimidating. Don't let it be intimidating. Sure enough, on the first page, we see this statement. Go to 515 for rectangular block. So let's just search 515. And sure enough, we have a snippet of code right here for rectangular block. Now, I consider myself a pretty basic programmer, so sometimes for me it helps to get rid of extra noise. So I'm gonna copy this code, close this program, and paste it into a new program just so I can focus on the code that I need to look at. Down here, I start to see something that kind of makes sense. G65, P9012, X, pound seven, and then a, the same line with a Y. This code threw me at first because I was expecting a single line of code to handle the block. What they've actually done is they're using two existing cycles, one for the X dimension and the other for the Y, and they're kind of putting those together to form the block code. And the key here is this 9812. If you do not have a copy of the Renishaw Haas PDF card here to download it over on the NYC CNC website, it is an invaluable resource for situations just like this because I'm gonna search for 9812, and the key is where it explains what the optional inputs are. And right here, optional inputs cue the probe's over travel distance to use when the default values are unsuitable. Oddly enough, they're actually querying a value in this one. They're calling Q pound 17. When we first looked in the Haas table, we could modify Q17, but it was a volatile parameter. It seemed to change over time or get rewritten. So that's no good. But for us, we just hard coded it. So in this code, now that we know what we want to do, we'll hop back into the real program. And instead of Q17, we'll say Q2.0. You don't need the zero, but you do need the dot in the Haas FANUC world. If you don't, it thinks it's two 10 millionths or two millionths or something. So two dot is always strange to me. So I do two or period, not dot. Two period zero, just easier for me to understand. And I certainly like commenting things. So I'll say JWS changed from Q pound 17 to Q2.0 on Feb 1. I like making notes to myself just so I can remember uh, what we did. And then the next step we do is we have a Word file. Actually, we moved over to a Google Sheet that tracks all the things that we do on our Haas machine. So right when they show up, we turn off a couple of the settings, we change a couple of settings to our preferences, and we make notes of things like this so we can try to standardize it uh, across all the machines we have, or at least make sure we have a single resource to go back, kind of like a wiki, and see, okay, if we want to have another machine have that ability, uh, there's the code to do it. So as always, folks, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.